this is Hugo Pierre. I've been on another Black Lives Matter demonstration today. This one particularly around the shooting of Jacob Blake. He was shot seven times by the police in front of his kids and everything whilst he was at, um, you know, near his home. Absolutely astounding. But again, once again, we've seen young people, um, black and white, take into the streets to protest against this horrific racist attack. Um, I think also we've been able to see how Trump has tried to use this to raise reactionary forces against the demonstrators. And we've seen pictures of a 17 year old white boy armed to the hilt with um, assault rifles, etc., to who's been shooting at unarmed protesters. But what's been really significant about this is the response by sports stars, particularly those who play basketball, American football and baseball, who've gone on strike for the Black Lives Matter movement. And I think to myself, well done to them. Of course, these are all highly paid, super rich stars who've made their point. And of course, black people play a really significant part in sport in America. And they've made their point. But I was thinking to myself, what if the trade unions actually got together and really got behind this movement and really took it in a direction that could unite working class people right across America to fight and oppose racism, to fight Trump, but also fight for an independent working class position on jobs, on pay, on health care on safety, all of the things that really matter just at this particular moment in time. Well, I think in this country, the trade unions could show the way as well. Black Lives Matter's demonstrations have been taking place, mainly young people, uh, black, both black and white again. But if the trade unions stepped up, came out of lockdown, yes, let's do it safely. Let's make sure that people have got masks and people have got hand sanitizer and all the rest of it. But the trade unions could come out in this country and give full support to the Black Lives Matter movement. And we could probably see a real step forward if we were to go under the banner of jobs, homes, safety and not racism. Thank you.